Hey y'all, it's David again. I'm back. Okay, so this is a new style of video for me. What I'm going to do is to take you along to stuff like this instead of just on the photography exploits. And today I've got a couple of little projects down in the machine shop to do. Today the uh, shop is closed, so I have free reign of the whole building with nobody to like interfere with anything I'm doing or I don't have to share machines and I don't have to worry about impeding production today. One of the things I got to do is fix this knife. I made this knife for Teresa for Christmas. It's a neck knife. It hang, hangs around your neck because she don't wear pants with pockets a lot. And she uses a knife, at, you know, to open boxes and makeup and all kinds of crap all the time. And she wanted a neck knife. So I made her one for Christmas. Unfortunately, I got the tension on the sheath too stiff and you just about can't draw it. So I'm gonna rearrange the way this sheath is made if I don't ruin the sheath, I'll use it over. If I do, I'll make a new sheath. Let's get into this. I normally do all this work on my personal back workbench, and I have this little space back here, and I just do all sorts of little projects here. I don't just do machine work here or electrical work or whatever. It's just whatever. You know, from the turn signal front control center computer off of my Dodge truck, where I'm trying to figure out which one of these semiconductors powers the actual delayed wiper to adjusting this kydex sheath on this knife just and you never know what you're going to find back here first thing i want to do okay the tension on this knife i set with this portion of the plastic if you'll notice you can push and it pops right out for me but that's because of the way i'm doing it when you're hanging when it hangs as a neck knife and you go to pull it bites as you can see it just releases all at once very violently so get the heat gun back up here what we want to do is loosen that up a little bit so it releases just a little easier i also want to fold up this little region right here to give us a thumb push area so you can get some leverage there to pop it loose with i'm also going to remove this rivet so i'm going to cut this out basically uh right through here come right along the edge of this and just completely remove this tab because what i found was people want to grab it here and go to pull well once you do it's going to bring that knife right across your finger and cut your finger open so we're going to eliminate this possibility and radius this to where you're not tempted to use that as a leverage point I, that was a bad idea on my part when I put that on there. So I'm going to solve that as well. So I got three things I want to do to this and see if I can improve it. Plus, I'm probably going to sand a little more away around this rivet, kind of reduce this footprint a little more, you know, something like bring this about here and maybe just kind of make a nice gentle arc out of it like that. And just do that to the whole case. Just kind of clean this profile up a little bit. I got this little heat gun. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you this. I got this little heat gun when I bought some heat shrink tubing off Amazon. So this will be just right for what we're doing here. One eternity later. Yeah, see now how it's pliable? Now what I'll do is I'll just form this fall up like this and hold it till it cools and it won't take it long. That's why you wear gloves because this, this plastic gets pliable like this at about 275 degrees. So you will burn yourself pretty, pretty bad if you tried to do it without the gloves on. They provide enough insulation that it prevents you from getting burned. All right, now we've got a little, a little thumb push area there. That's how quick you can add that. Okay. See, now it gives me just enough traction to pop it off with my thumb. Now, I've also re removed all of the tension that I had on it before. See that, it just barely holds. It'll, yeah, it'll fall out. We'll solve that in a minute. Now that we've got this formed up. Yeah, and that gives you something to, you can just stick and pop it off with your thumb now. But now we're gonna clean all this up. Do not tell anybody I have this thing.
Yeah, that's done. Stay clear of that thing when you're not using it. Alright, now that we've got it back to the workbench, what we've got to do is we got to get rid of these burrs. See that burr right there? Can't tell it, but it's there. It'll break off in a second. There we go. Now, one of the simple things that you can use to work Kydex around the edges is simply a piece of Scotch Bright. You can literally just dehorn it with Scotch Bright. It's not hard at all. Now, that we've dehorned it with the scotch bright. Here's the secret sauce. Steel wool. You rub it with steel wool and it smooths it right up. Later. And it's smooth now. Okay, now it goes in, but it has no tension. So what we're gonna do is adjust these little tabs here and melt them down where they reach around this tongue on the blade or on the handle, I mean, and that'll be what holds it in. Now we'll just let that cool. It don't take long. See, it's already formed to the shape. All right, so now I need to do this one the same way so that it matches. I'm angling it like this to keep from reheating this side and softening it because it'll undo everything I've just done to it if I do that. I can see it moving. Just gotta wait a second or two. There we go. Now, look at that. And it actually pops out and it pops in pretty good too. That's a little bit much. But I've got all of this spring surface along this long section now. When I took that rivet out, that allowed this to become a long spring. Yeah. Now what I need to do I like the tension it's producing, but it's too wide. So what I want to do now, uh, yeah. Yeah, I like the fact that it's putting spring tension on it. I'm just gonna open this channel up a little bit. And what I'll use to do that with is an X-Acto knife. Cause they work good and they're crazy sharp when they're fresh. See, all I gotta do is just whittle away the plastic. Yeah, just make sure you don't cut towards yourself and you'll be okay. Let's see. Yeah, right. Still pretty hard to pull out. Hmm. Let's see, but let's take a little more off. I'm cutting a little off the inside to try and generate a pseudo bevel so it'll feed the knife handle out instead of trying to hold on to it Let's see what that does it fits good so you can reheat and reform this as many times as you want it doesn't seem to hurt thermoset plastic like kydex that's a real nice feature about it Hey, I think we got something. It's chewing up the wood. Yeah, it's just a tool. Okay, now I can come in here and dehorn this. Like that. And on this side, do the same thing. Yeah, just right doesn't want to move push on it pops right out pull on it pops right out yeah and that's done yeah yeah I don't know. I'll leave that be for now I may make another sheath later 
but that solved that problem. 